Hey, this is Mutsa Badri, and today is Alive and Fearless Monday. I want to address all of you businessmen, people who are on a job, who have left the job, who want to change to another business or change from job to business, or you're a freelance and you want to start your own business. We get this question that what should I do? What is the product, service, or business that I should start? How should I start it? What should I do first? Then what should I do? What is the selection criteria? So in this video, I'm going to address a couple of things that I would highly recommend, which I have used, which has helped me. And I would recommend any person starting a business from whichever, wherever field you are. What are the first things to do, the mindsets and quick steps to take. So first, if you are someone who wants to do a business, be very clear why you want to do a business. Is it just the money or is it that you want to provide a product and service in the marketplace to help someone do better business or help an individual live a better life? So that is the foundation of any businessman or any business who want to grow 10x, who wants to succeed in the long run. So if that is not there and if you're just coming in for the money because I need it, I'm getting married and I don't have money I ha or I have debt, so which business is going to give me fast money? I highly recommend you don't make that mistake. So take some time, think about it, that what product and service should I offer in the marketplace? Now, when I say that, I come, uh, you know, there's a question which is asked that which product should I offer? And to that question, I always answer that what is your strength? What are you good at? So again, you know, this where is the scope and today in the 21st century, there is scope in each and every area of business. I mean, everybody is making money. Everybody is a millionaire in some or the other field. The ones who are doing proper good business. So that question by itself is not valid that which business or product or field has more scope. Now it comes back to you as an individual. What are you good at? What have you spent your maximum time doing? So if you're coming from a job, what kind of product or field have you sold? Are you good at that? Do you like it? Does it come naturally to you? Have people told you that you're good at it and have you produced results in that particular area? So you probably want to do some experiments, you know, you know, go a couple of places, do some business and find out, spend some time if you are not sure as to which product, service, or field is your strength. If you're fresh and if you're just coming up and wanting to start something. If you already know and you're a seasoned businessman or you know, you've done, you're a freelance and you've already started selling a product, service which you're good at and you just want to scale it and start business, then that is probably your strength. Now, when we even come, you know, narrow it down to a particular, Let's take an example of uh, clothes. If you're in the clothes industry and uh, you might say, I want to sell clothes to each and every age category, each and every kind of trend possible out there, then I would highly recommend that that is, you know, you become a generalist and that will not help. So narrow down your business, your target audience into very specific. The, it's like a pyramid. The more you go on the top, the more specialized product and service you are going to offer, the more business potential you have, the more clients you will have, the more expertise you can gain, and also the income and profitability increases. The ease of doing business increases. You know, you might have seen in the market that a lot of people are selling a very niche product and they're millionaires. And you might also have seen people selling everything and they are struggling. So get your niche, find where you're good at, what comes naturally to you, and then what do you do? What are the couple of steps I should take? First, develop your product and service and start selling it. I see a lot of people making mistakes that I have to go get full capital, set up a shop, set up manufacturing, and I have to do all the, you know, 360, everything from A to Z and then start business. No, just identify a product service, identify a potential customer and start trading. Get your product service from somewhere or hire from some external source vendor that service and start becoming the middleman and offering that service or product to your customer. One, two, three customers and then you start growing building. When I started my you know, business in uh, being a speaker, trainer, life coach, I didn't set up a fancy shop or a training institute or something. I started with, hey, I am a, I, I'm a coach, I want to help people and I went out there and saw, found 
researched and I got these people who were struggling in their life, in their relationship, in their business, in their personal life, in parenting. And I went there and offered my service. I said, hey, you know what? Let me help you. I'll give you one session, two sessions. Let me see. And I started with nothing. You know, often I started with a free service and then 500 rupees main went you know to 5000 rupees and went to 50000 rupees and it went in a gradual uh, learning curve so when you start a business you are the main source so you have to be very sure that you know you understand as a businessman what is the product how do i source it how do i sell it how do i market it how do i collect the money and you understand the entire life cycle of a product and service service offering and delivering it and at the same time, customer satisfaction, knowing if you're doing well, if this is your niche, if this you want to extend or expand to 10x and then slowly, gradually expand, expanding it and growing your business. One step at a time is basically bottom line of the entire thing. You want to do it one step at a time and you want to go full fledged on it. Do not try to be safe do not try to be the best do not sit and create a business plan and you don't want to fail and i want to get it right the first time nobody gets it right the first time it's always a learning curve you know life will teach you when you go out there start your business you will learn on it just make sure that you do not indulge in a lot of debt don't take too many loans from family friends if you don't know what you're doing establish that it is working establish a process which is working and then by all means once you get it 10 exit then nobody stops you. I hope this video helps you today. Be more alive and fearless. Reach out to your, find your skill, reach out to your potential audience and go unleash yourself. Be the businessman that you know you can be. Be alive and fearless. If you have any questions regarding this video, post it below this video. Like our channel, subscribe, share it with any entrepreneur, freelance or anybody who's struggling and confused as to what I should do because you know, this is something which if missed or skipped can really, really waste a lot of time, energy and a lot of money. So I hope this helps you get in the correct strategy and helps you build a business of your dreams. Thank you so much for watching. Stay alive, stay fearless, dream big, stay strong and I'll see you soon in the next Alive and Fearless Monday.